Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have a really, really big warning going on on the fact that we've been having a lot of people having their orders get canceled. And a lot of people were also kind of thinking of why, why was my order having issues? Why was my order getting randomly canceled? What is with all the drama and all this stuff going on? And this is more so specifically in regards to Walmart. As you guys know, we recently just had a really big and somewhat successful, I would say, Walmart restock for both the PlayStation 5, this PlayStation 5 Digital, and Xbox Series X. And as well, especially with the event being rescheduled and the fact that Walmart's been somewhat on the inactive side for restocks throughout this past month, we're also expecting a lot more Walmart restocks throughout these next few weeks, maybe even as of early as of next week, depending on their stock and all of that. But we've actually ran into some issues where people uh, keep on having their orders casually canceled and no one necessarily understands why. A lot of people are like, hey, I thought my order was good. I have the confirmation email and all this stuff is going on. And for some odd reason, Walmart is not getting back to me and, and or just randomly canceling my order. So we actually have this really, really nice Reddit thread over here that's kind of talked about this issue, talked about the legal issues on it, and kind of the one really big warning when it comes to anyone trying to find and buy your consoles in the future from Walmart. And I kind of feel like this type of video is somewhat needed, mainly on the fact alone that so many people do go buy consoles from Walmart and is one of the big four or five restockers and well, this one of the best places to get their consoles at because of course it's Walmart. So a lot of things to go and talk about, a lot of little legal things, but pay attention for this one in case you guys are still trying to find your consoles. As well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console and controller, Twitter and Twitch stream as well. Link down below if you guys want to follow. Sign up for Weevil, deposit $100. You guys go get free stack and free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below. And without further ado, let's go dive in the video itself and please leave a like or if this happened to you or if you have any of your friends in the future trying to get your consoles, make sure to give them a little heads up on this video itself. So we actually have this one article over here in regards to PayPal, in regards to gift cards, and also in regards to any basically type of payment processor that is instantaneously taken out of your actual account. And this is also regards to, to a really big legal law of uh, basically the 79 FR 55619 <laughs> over here in regards to mail, internet, and telephone order merchandising and what really big companies have to follow for pure legality reasons. So this is like US law has to follow this and if they don't follow it, there's a really big issue in terms of legalities being sued, being shut down. And this actually, I think, explains everything why all these Walmart orders are getting canceled and why this has been an issue for a very long time. So over here, I'm going to show you guys, first of all, this major post over here in regards to this, just so you guys know I'm not capping or anything else like that, where it does have the big part over here with mail, internet, or telephone order sales shall mean sales in which the buyer has ordered merchandise from the seller by mail, via internet, or by telephone, regardless of the method of payment or method used to solicit the order. This is regards to prompt refund where a refund is made pursuant to all these, uh, the section, a refund sent by any means, at least as fast and as reliable as first class mail within the seven working days of the date in which the buyer is right to refuse vest under the provisions of this part. So let me try to give you, like someone actually, just so you guys all know, this is more so showing this so you guys know we're not capping over here too as well. But basically the big issue on this is this, and also we'll have like a better too long didn't read in a second over here. Basically is when a buyer tendered full payment for the unshipped merchandise in the form of cash, check, or money order, a return of the amount tendered in the form of cash, check, or money order is sent to the buyers. So let me just try to get like, to, like someone in Reddit actually had a really good two lawns didn't read from a Bakuri Hanabaki, hopefully I said that right. And let me just go read this out to you guys because I feel like this is very, very good and important information. So here is the fat pattern. A Walmart order is placed with PayPal or gift card as a method of payment. Walmart then blows the order's projected shipping date, and then the order itself is not shipped within 30 days of being placed, and then the order is canceled on the 30th day, which we actually saw that, and the dates actually correspond with the previous Walmart issues of orders getting canceled. So the too long, like, don't want to read the entire thing or watch the entire video, if you guys are paying with, say, a gift card or PayPal or any other type of thing that basically takes the money out of your account, out of your gift card, out of your PayPal, whatever, on that same day, Basically, like things like PayPal, they basically have to prove that you have the money to go and pay it. And that's why they take it out that same day. While a credit card is kind of like, we owe you money and I owe you. So it's okay to keep it on that. 
So with all that, there's a big legal issue that you have basically 30 days to go and ship something. If it's not shipped by a big retailer, such as like Walmart, Amazon, etc., unless there's a specific reason why, I think a good example is like the Halo Infinite Xboxes. They're not even out yet. So there is a big wording difference between a pre-order and a normal order, if that makes sense. So basically a normal order has to be there within 30 days unless there's like otherwise stated or it's like otherwise pre-ordered or there's like say it's like it's gonna be available like in March of next year. You kind of know that it's fine. But when it comes to if it's supposed to be expected and delivered ASAP, such as how Walmart does it, it needs to legally be there by the 30 day rule. And if it doesn't follow that 30 day rule, that means it has to get canceled because Walmart can't break the law, if that makes sense. So other things on this comment, kind of what I just said and kind of talked about, there is a federal consumer law that might effectively require that Walmart cancel such orders if they aren't shipped within 30 days. Federal Trade Commission's mail, internet, or telephone order merchandising rule, aka the 30-day rule, which we just showed over there. You get a sense how this rule has been interpreted and applied by looking through the FTC's relevant business guide. So kind of how I mentioned if it's being, if you basically, if they have your money, they need to give you something because in the future or in the past, there could have been issues if like a company sells like $15 million worth of items and then they reinvest that or give their boss a really like a $15 million bonus. And then we have a bunch of customers 180 days, like a year later, they still haven't seen their products. So you can kind of see how that can kind of lead in some big issues. So the rule actually only does seem to apply. And this kind of goes to the big issue of what you guys should try to avoid in the future. The rule would only seem to apply to PayPal and gift cards as opposed to bank and credit card orders because it is triggered when the seller has both an order and payment. So what I was saying before is that for PayPal, it has to automatically pay, even if you don't receive the, say your PlayStation or Xbox for a few weeks, few months, basically because they just have to know you have the money there. A credit card will just get charged whenever it's shipped. And that's probably a big reason why places like Amazon goes into like, say you, like for me, I have my normal SSD. I actually just bought as of recently over here and I ordered this in uh, August, but it shipped a month later, but there's a difference between it being shipped and ordered versus like on back order. And also, as I mentioned for the Halo, uh, Halo Infinite Edition, it's a pre-order. So like sometimes the wording legal is stuff like that. Walmart processes PayPal and gift card payments at the same time an order is placed, whereas a bank and credit card payments are not processed until or after an order ships. So basically on the section eight of Walmart's terms and services, basically with the order acceptance and billing. This really has to do with the fact that PayPal lacks the ability to verify funds in connected accounts and gift cards obviously offer nothing in the way of assurances. Like they could always be stolen, bought with stolen credit cards, used stolen money, etc., etc. And also the little technically they're thrown there too as well. Walmart does have the option of extending the express or implied shipping dates of such orders, but complying with the rules in this regard can be burdensome, especially on the fly. That's why I said the law might effectively require that Walmart cancel such orders that they do not ship within 30 days too as well. So we have a lot. Let me go and kind of give you guys the quick recap because it was kind of a lot for that. If you guys have and want to get an order from Walmart or in the future or just in general, make sure you guys go and don't use PayPal and don't use uh, uh, basically gift cards. Now, I know that can be kind of rough. Maybe because some people only have their money in PayPal or only even have gift cards, or maybe they have like $300 in gift cards and they want to go and just, you know, use them because they want their console. But this actually has, I think, led into the big issue of a lot of Walmart orders being canceled. And it does make a lot of sense due to literal government law stating that they have to abide by it. And a lot of people kept on having issues of their canceled orders just being like, why? Like, why was this canceled? What was this issue? And I'm sure as you guys know, by this point, Walmart likes to future sell consoles. So they'll sometimes go and say like your next delivery date is a month and a half from now or two months from now. And even some people from the August 12th restock have still had issues and have not even received their consoles. And by then it's definitely been over a month. And a lot of those folks actually had their orders already canceled. So this is actually, I think, a really big PSA to kind of know. And it's kind of nifty information to know in the future. So I guess my best operations would be Use things such as like a debit card or a credit card. Probably credit card, as always, is one of the best options. And of course, if you guys do have a credit card, make sure you guys go and utilize your cash back. Because I mean, sometimes you could have up to like 3%, 4% cash back on your credit cards too as well. So make some money with your expensive purchases. But I do think this is a very big, important uh, PSA. Move your money out of PayPal and then put that money towards a bank or try your best not to use gift cards in the future and hopefully you have, don't have any ordered cancels orders canceled <laughs> but i appreciate you guys all so much for watching make sure you guys leave a like on this one especially or if this happened to you guys or your friends leave a comment down below 
Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console, and controller. Amazon giveaway going on in the channel itself, so make sure you guys are subscribed for that. Uh, as well, Twitter and Twitch room down below. Sign up for Weeble, deposit $100. You guys go get free stack and free money. Go ahead and base you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. They're always linked down below, and I appreciate you guys all so much for watching and hanging out and chilling. And I'll see you guys up on the next one. Love you guys.